So in this video, I want to talk about should you watch Farming in Another World? And this, of course, is an isekai, it is a harem, it is a fantasy, and it is done by Studio Zero G. And currently, as of now, it is on High Dive, Subbed and Dub, and it is based on a light novel with 12 episodes that aired in January the 6th of 2023. <gasps> there we go, take a deep breath. I liked this. I really did enjoy the anime, but... But... One of the things that I didn't like about the anime is, see, I, I keep, one of the things that got me actually wanting to watch this anime was all the comments about how he has all these children, how he has all these wives, how he banged all these girls, and in the anime, it never mentions anything until, re like, at the start, he kind of gets transported into the world, he's on his own, he's farming, it's kind of lonely, which makes sense, you know, he wants a companion, and then the vampire chick pops up and he's like, marry me. Which I'm like, dude, I understand how you feel. She's pretty damn hot. I would have been like that as well. But the thing is, is that he's like, yeah, marry me. And then no further romance has been developed at all from that point. Like, it's actually funny because as much as I said the tags are isekai, harem, and fantasy, there is really no harem aspect in the anime. There is a harem aspect apparently in the light novels, the web novel, and the manga, but there's really no harem aspect in the anime. Now, to understand what the word harem means, three or more women in love with the same person, or three or more of the, like, again, I use ma main male protagonist with female, so in this case, it would be three or more. So it has to be three or higher women in love with the same person. Now, to note, that male character does not have to love them back. The, love, the romance doesn't have to be reciprocated. It could all be one-sided. Again, that is how the Japanese definition of harem works. Please don't bring up other cultures and other languages, because again, words have different meanings in different cultures. So using other cultures as a, oh, but this is what it means over there. Again, this is what the word means in Japan. Three or more in love with the same protagonist. So in the manga and in the light novels and the web novel, there is this harem aspect in it where apparently he does hook up with multiple women. Apparently, I think if I remember the number roughly, it was like 63 wives he has or something like that. Again, I'm, I'm going off the top of my head. But either way... He has a lot of children, he has a lot of wives in there, but in the anime, he marries one chick, and she gets pregnant at the end, but there's no real build-up to the romance. It just was like, oh, they hooked up, he proposed, they live together, they don't actually sleep in the same room or do anything, you know, raunchy, raunchy, and then randomly near the end of the season, she has a child. I'm like, huh? Huh? Like... Where was the build-up to that? that? That's the one thing that disappointed me about the series. I wanted to see the romance build up. And if it is a harem series, what other girls did he hook up with? I know who he does hook up with because I read that and that's what intrigued me into the series. But in the anime, there's no other chicks that he hooks up with. Like, there's a bunch of chicks that are, like, interested in him. They show interest, but there's no real pursuing him, which kind of really disappointed me. That's the one thing I really didn't like was that... There was this idea of romance there and stuff going on, but it never shows it. I don't even care if it insinuated it and didn't show it. Just at least hint at it, but it doesn't really do that in the anime. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate, because I know I'm not going to see a lot of fans coming in and going, you're just hating on the series. I'm not. I really liked it. But it just felt like the anime lacked a lot of the stuff that I think kind of was used as a marketing thing. And that was what a lot of light novel and manga fans kind of threw out, was like, oh yeah, all this stuff happened. So, taking that gripe aside, I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the farming, the relaxing nature, the fun politics, the comedy aspect, even though the, the tag comedy isn't in it. I found it fun, like some of the running jokes when it comes to the beasts and the girls and all the new residents kind of fainting because they see these beasts, these wolves, they're like super powerful and everything, and it's like, oh my god, they're gonna eat us, but they're like, they're, they're, fought, they're just chill. And the spiders. And the dragons. And everything else. It was just... It was fun. It was chill. It was cool. And seeing everything play out. It was a great experience. I enjoyed it. Watching it from start to finish. But... I know I'm going to gripe on. I really wanted to see the harem romance aspect in it. But it didn't. It just kind of felt like... 
it did something and then never talked about it again and then randomly oh by the way his wife is pregnant huh when did that happen where was all the action like I, again i'm not saying they have to show it but at least tell us that hey they're getting it on there's some romance going on and even in the sense of like at least do romantic things hold hands kiss go on long walks at the beach bit hard to do in a forest but you get what i mean the romance aspect wasn't there everything else was amazing the chicks were hot the waifus all the different fun companions the build up of the farm it just felt like a fun fun little farming simulator and just as i mentioned before the politics of all the different characters the comedic aspects of oh we might have to send an army to fight them but it's like oh but look at all these powerful entities that are serving him they're all like really powerful but they're all really chill it was there's so much to love about the anime but i do think this is a thing where with the anime it's a bit of a hit and miss i think some people will love it and some people will hate it i don't think it's the best thing since sliced bread but i do enjoy it i think it's a pretty fun chill type series now as far as the source material goes there is actually a lot of source material because i was doing some research from my other video which is where i talk about the chance of a season two but i'll talk about it a little bit in here where apparently the anime only covered up around to chapter 85 of the web novel but it also notes even in some of these websites that talk about that that even with even though the anime covers up to chapter 85 apparently he has multiple children running around and multiple wives which again that's the harem aspect but it's not in the anime so i do think it'd actually be a little bit challenging for them to actually do a second season of the anime unless they did a bit of a time skip where they went from season one to season two where in season two suddenly they're like oh by the way he has all these children and all these wives honestly that would make me hate season two more because i'd be like i wanted to see these relationships so i know i sound like i'm really hating on the series but i don't i just wish the one thing that kind of drew me in i know i'm a bit of a harem junkie get over it <laughs> but that one thing that kind of got me interested wasn't really prevalent so i do feel like the chances of a season two are quite low but i do also think that fans probably should just go to the source material now there is a manga that's got an english release and there is the light novels but with no english release so if there's a fan translation that would be pretty good but then there's also the web novel as well and there's like 700 plus chapters so i feel like if you are a fan of this series go read the source material like in any capacity whether it's fan translations of the light novels manga web novel any of those three are probably your best bet you just basically pick the one that you find most hits review i'm sure some people in the comment section will tell me down below what th they think is the best thing so i hope people don't watch this video and think that i actually hate the series because again i enjoy it i think the ratings are fair that they're being high i would love to see a second season i just kind of wish some of the stuff that ended up being missing wasn't missing it's like one of those one things where i'm like that would have been nice maybe they did it for the ratings so that it was easier to kind of sell and market to a wider audience but i feel like that kind of hurts it more because i feel like if they had that harem proper aspect in the anime it would have sold better to the audience that probably wants to read the source material so i do think it's mainly a source material seller i i do definitely think that is the case if a season two was to get announced i'd announce it on the news channel that i run so if you didn't know that i run a news channel most of you know the it would be really cool to see where that goes because as i said if there was a season two i can tell you right now there would be some type of time skip they'd have to because they'd have to make up for the stuff that they've kind of skipped over with season one and so it would make sense from that side of point and then it would just continue on from there probably just being more or less the same more farming more people joining more establishing things more chicks joining the waifu more comedy aspect with all the different nations but i would also be wondering are you really going to go with just 700 chapters of just more or less the same that kind of feels like it would get boring after a while if you did another like from the looks of it there's like another seven seven to eight seasons worth of material there to me that's like okay would there be more or less the same or would there be something else going on maybe there is an overarching villain that's lurking in the shadows where he has to muster all the girls together with other allies to fight against the greater evil to protect the farm 
maybe they have to use the farm to farm, like to send humanitarian aid to other places that have been attacked. I just wonder where the story would go in a grander scheme of things, unless it is purely just chill farming the whole time, which I'm not against. I just hope they add some interesting things in it if they ever did that. So again, that's just my personal opinion. Again, I enjoyed the anime. To be very clear, I enjoyed the anime. Probably by the time people get this far, they would understand regardless. But the people in the early stages probably think I just hate the series. But I want it to be here regardless. I liked it. I would recommend it for those that want that kind of really chill, easygoing kind of farming simulator type anime. And I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me? Do you feel the same way as far as when it comes to that missing aspect? So again, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.